pre-stressed recovery structures, what happens is the beam initially it will be deflected in the upward direction like this. In the pre-stressed concrete beams, what we are seeing is the beams, this pattern, the beam is there. Now initially this beam will be deflected in the upward direction before application of the live loads. So before application of the live loads, when the beam is going in the upward direction, what happens is when the live loads are acted, so due to the application of the live loads, we can minimize the deflection like this. So when the spans are larger, you need not increase the dimensions of the structure. Simply making the structure to move in the upward direction, we can say that the structure's deflections, ultimate deflections are minimized. That is the basic concept of pre-stressing. So this basic concept of pre-stressing, it is not a new term. We have been using this pre-stressed concrete in the olden days itself. So if you observe a barrel, so a wine barrel or a wooden barrels, if you observe these wooden barrels, they made with wood like this. So to store a material, they use it to construct a wooden barrels like this. So what happened is due to the pouring of the liquid inside, these wooden barrels, they will be under hoop tension. So to create that one, what they did is they provided a string around the barrel. So for example, assume this, this is a barrel. So what we have done is when a load is, like this, when any material is poured inside, so due to this pouring of the material, it will create pressure on the walls. So take a glass or any bottle, if you pour water, this water will be created a pressure on the walls of the surface of the barrel or the container. So what they have done in the olden days is, they have taken a string, so with the help of a string, they tied entirely. So when they tied entirely, then what happened is it is creating pre-stressing. That means you are creating pre-stressing inside. So due to this pre-stressing, so what happened is it created compression. That means we have created pre-compression inside the member. So when the liquid is poured in the material, so what happens is the material compression, that means whatever it is giving the pressure to the body, as well as the string, whatever you have rotated, so both will be nullified and the net resultant, that means the forces will be nullified. That is the concept of pre-stressing. So another one is take the spokes present in a cycle, bicycle. The spokes present in a bicycle. So if you see what happened is, this is a cycle tire, so which is having spokes like this. So these spokes will be under pre-tension, so they are pre-stressed. Similar way, a bullock cart. So if you consider this is the cart, I mean wheel, I mean the wheel of a cart. So if you observe, for the wooden wheel of a cart, the people use it to